Can the US economy survive the Fed's aggressive rate hike or are we staring down the barrel of a recession? Welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the world of economics and finance. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. Let's get into it. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has been on an aggressive campaign to raise interest rates in response to soaring inflation, which hit a staggering 9% in the past year. But with the rate hikes potentially nearing their end, the Fed's united front may be starting to crack. In the short term, these aggressive rate hikes have been necessary to combat the staggering 9% inflation. High inflation can erode purchasing power create uncertainty and hinder economic growth. However, as we approach the end of the rate hiking campaign, the challenge for the Fed will be to find a balance between curbing inflation and avoiding an economic slowdown or even a recession. The growing divide among FOMC members is a cause for concern. The committee must navigate through conflicting priorities, such as fighting inflation while cushioning the slowing economy. This delicate balance can be difficult to achieve and the diverse opinions within the FOMC may make it even more challenging to maintain a consensus on the best course of action. So what's causing this divide amongst Powell's colleagues at the Federal Open Market Committee? The FOMC is expected to hike interest rates once more, reaching the highest level since 2007. But with two thirds of economists and Fed staff predicting a looming recession, the committee faces a tough decision, continue fighting inflation or cushioning the slowing economy. And as you might expect, opinions within the FOMC are quite diverse. Adding to the uncertainty are the recent failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, tighter credit conditions, and the ever-looming U.S. debt ceiling. The upcoming May's meeting's forward guidance may spark intense debate, particularly given the FOMC's forecast of increased unemployment by year's end. And with the 2024 presidential election campaign already underway, the Fed could face even more pressure to make tough decisions. The FOMC's primary focus should be on finding a balanced approach to address both inflation and the potential economic slowdown. It is crucial for the Fed to weigh the short-term and long-term consequences of its decision to ensure a stable and thriving economy. I was able to find a little silver lining for you. Historically, the S&P 500 has risen by an average of 13% a year after the latest interest rates increase in previous monetary tightening cycles. Factors like strong consumer spending, first quarter corporate earnings revitalized by big tech, and easing supply bottlenecks is creating a belief that an early stage fresh bull cycle may be forming. However, I do believe it's crucial to maintain a balanced and well-informed perspective. While these positive factors may indeed pave the way for a bull cycle, we must also consider the risks and challenges that the market faces, such as the potential recession, uncertainties surrounding the Fed's interest rate decisions, and the increasing divide within the FOMC. These are just some factors I'm taking into account when constructing portfolios and adjusting investment strategies. Diversification, risk management, and staying up to date with market developments is key to navigating the potential opportunities and challenges in the current investment environment. Not everyone is optimistic. The expected rate hike on Wednesday has market bulls and bears locking horns, with some analysts predicting that the S&P 500 could drop as low as 3,600 as economic conditions worsen, noting that stocks have fallen in the three months after every last rate hike when facing with inflationary pressures. It's important to weigh both the bullish and the bearish perspectives and consider the risks and rewards associated with each outlook. So, what is an investor to do in these uncertain times? The economy may avoid a full-blown recession and instead experience multiple quarters of low growth, meaning this outlook suggests that stocks could still rally by the end of the year, so avoiding becoming too defensive too early is understandable, but the future remains uncertain. I wanna hear from you. What do you think the outcome will be for the US economy as the Fed continues its balancing act between inflation and unemployment? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video with your fellow finance enthusiasts. See you in the next video.